Alright guys, what's up? Welcome to your third Pi game tutorial. And in this tutorial, it's pretty much a continuation of our last tutorial. We're going to be picking up where we left off, and we're going to be building the mouse. So make sure you watch tutorial 2 before you watch this one. So in order to um, build the mouse, or our cursor, we need to get X and Y coordinates. So we're going to make two variables, X and Y, and we're going to set both of those equal to Pi game dot mouse which is this is all built in anything time you see pi game it's built in get underscore pos and no that doesn't stand for what you think it does and this gives us a x and y variable that we can position the mouse so what we want to do is make it so whatever our cursor is that's where we want the x and wherever it is same thing for y so take your x variable and we will what we want to do this is set it minus equal to mouse underscore C or whatever you named it up here for whatever your image was we want to set pretty much our image dot get with underscore get with and divided by two and I'll tell you why this is if you're wondering alright this makes sense to me except when you did this divided by two well by default it's it a coordinate which is like one of the corners of it and when you divide x and y by two it puts your cursor right in the middle of your image so if you don't want it in the middle of your image don't put the divide by two but like 99 percent of the time you want your cursor to be right in the middle of the image and this this is going to be really clear whenever you see what i'm doing so um just pay attention for now and copy as I do. I'll comment an amount later and I'll show you what happens when you don't put the divide by two. But for now, y negative equals mouse underscore c get uh there we go get height this time get height empty parameters divide by two. Make sure I don't have my typos or anything. And now what we want to do is just like we blitted the background to the screen we want to blit the mouse to the screen too so screen dot blit mouse underscore c or whatever you named your image and x and y for a coordinates x y there we go and the last thing that we need to do is pi game display update with empty parameters and what this does is pretty much just make sure it doesn't flicker. This is pretty much just housekeeping stuff, but you need it in order to have a smooth running program. So let me run this, and it's a lot easier if you see the program, and then uh, I'll go through everything and tell you what it does. Pretty much you don't even know what's going on right here, so let me uh, fix that for you. Save this. Hopefully I don't have any errors. And here's my program right here. As you can see, I have a red ball that's in a screen. As you can see, this black and white gradient is my background. This ball is that ball ping I was talking about. And as you can see, um, it's transparent on the edges. So again, take note of my cursor being in the middle of the ball. And now I'll go through that tutorial one last time and show you what everything does. So here's the program we just built. All right. The first thing we did is um, set, well you should know what this is, just take the image files and set it equal to a variable. All of this is housekeeping stuff, um, we're going to be going over this later, but for now just copy all that. And now let's get to what we actually program. The first thing we did is build a window or screen, so we can put our like background image in it and our regular image in it. And you pretty much need to build a display every time or else you don't have a window. The next thing we did is converted this new image and set it equal to a variable named background. We also converted this ball image and set it equal to a variable named mouse C. So we have two variables that we're going to use background and mouse C for our two images in our game. Next we built a loop that never ends and we did this by putting either while one or while true. The first thing that we needed to do is this, and this pretty much means is an event, so when you click X on your program, it shuts down. Again, we're going to be going over events in the next tutorial, but for now, 
we need this or else your program is not going to be able to shut down. So sorry if I made you do it before explaining what it meant, but just do it before I explain what it meant. The next thing we did is copied our background onto our screen and we did this using the blit. Blit means copy. I don't know why they said blit. If someone wants to find that out for me and leave me a comment, I would greatly appreciate it. But just uh, take note that blit means copy background to the screen. The next thing we did is build our X and Y mouse coordinates. Um, again, the X value was that mouse C image. And again, divide by two puts it in the middle. And then we copied that mouse to the screen. And again, I'm going to be going over all of this in detail later. I just want to build you guys a simple program and then go over the details later. I fear it's the best way of teaching. And trust me, by the end of these tutorials, you'll be a pro at developing games. And lastly, I just did a little housekeeping thing. Uh, make sure you have this Pi Game Display update. And now, let me show you guys what happens if you don't have this divide by two. And this will probably clear up while it's useful. Go ahead and take out those divide by two, and now run your module. And as you can see, instead of my cursor being inside the ball, it's to one of the edges of the ball. And this is why I have divided by two and divided by two on X and Y. What this does is find the middle of each X and Y coordinates. So it puts your cursor in the middle of the ball. Now my cursor is only on the corner of the ball. So again, I told you guys I'd show you why and that's why. So that is your third tutorial and I know things are gonna seem kind of confusing right now, but I promise you um, I'm gonna be going over each of these things in details and by the end of these tutorials you're going to be able to build awesome 2d and 3d games so again thank you for sticking with me don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next tutorial